GDS2 is the global diagnostic software used by General Motors starting in model year 2010 and fully implemented on all GM vehicles from 2014 and newer. Today I demonstrate using GDS to, to perform some basic diagnostic functions. I'll be going over how to perform some basic functions like an all D2C check clearing any codes. After connecting the vehicle, we open the GDS to software. Click Diagnostics to start our operation. It'll automatically connect to our tooling and it's pulled the VIN. Hit Enter and we're going to go into the vehicle diagnostic system. We're going to do a vehicle D2C information. It will start querying all the modules in the vehicle. Pulling DTCs if there are any, and we can immediately see that in our engine control module. We have five DTCs that are stored, so once that's done we can come into our details. We can see that our air intake, our humidity sensor. We've got a high-end low voltage, and now our air intake sensor, and our barrel sensor and this is all correlating with the sensors that we've actually disconnected on this vehicle to go ahead and set these codes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug all of our sensors back in. Now that we've got our sensors plugged back in, we've cycled our key from off to on again. We're going to hit the clear DTCs. Click Add. Going to click OK, it's going to ask us if we really want to do this. We're going to confirm. And we can see that our engine control module now has no DTC stored. Back to our main menu. We're going to come up to our module diagnostics. The module diagnostics gives you all of the different modules that are on the vehicle. That allows you to come inside these modules and perform bi-directional controls by turning things on and off monitoring certain. We want to come into the body control module. We can come into our control functions and this gives us all of the subsystems that are controlled by the BCM. So we can come into the exterior lighting. We can come down to the actual high beam. We have an inactive and an active command state mode. So of course, if we want to command the headlights active, we can hit the active button. And we can see the lights go on. We can hit inactive and we can see that the lights go off this. It's good for diagnosing certain functions. You can basically test to see if the body control module actually commanding these functions on. Let's go ahead and do another one we'll exit this procedure and let's come up to the windows let's go to the passenger window motor now what we can do is we can come over to the down hem and, and as you see when we command it down the window will actually roll down and of course when we command it up it will roll back up So let's go ahead and back out, come back to our main menu. You can see that there are several different bi-directional controls things. You can monitor on this car with the GDS software that can aid in the diagnosis of any vehicle that comes into your shop. So you guys can get to the problem, get it fixed and get the vehicle. 